everyone. This is Tanya from the Save by King Jesus channel. Welcome back. So, I want to thank our beloved brother Wayne for sending this my way. But here we go, guys. Conspiracy theorists are on the psychosis continuum. Yale psychiatrists. Psychiatrists want to develop AI models to predict who will become full-blown schizophrenic. So as they're part of ongoing struggle to be perceived as genuine scientists, psychiatrists are now trying not only to diagnose people with mental illness, but to actually predict who might be susceptible to diseases of the brain. So they have the conspiracy theorists as lab rats. Since the symptoms of schizophrenia can't be scientifically determined, brains can't be analyzed to decide whether someone is psychotic or not. One answer is AI. Let the computers figure it out. We would like to suggest that people who believe in conspiracy theories or new religious movements and people who hear voices but do not have clinical diagnosis might serve as adversarial examples to a network trained on the phenomenal features and cognitive and neural mechanisms of psychosis. If you like your conspiracy theory, you can keep it. Just don't appear distressed by it. Who are these mysterious people who could become psychotic? According to Yale's Dr. Corlett, these could be people conspiracy theorists or others who are upset by their delusions and find that they make it harder for them to behave normally. So there you have it, everyone. They're making an AI to study conspiracy theorists so they can tell us that we have a mental illness, schizophrenia, and or psychosis. So then they can lock all the Christians up. Those who are actually blind will think nothing of it. So the suggestion, in which case Sonia's recommendation is AI. If you happen to be a conspiracy theorist, stay far away from psychiatry. I guess. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this because I see it as they'll pick us up, they'll tell us that we're mentally ill, and again, put us, you know, in re-education camps, etc., and nobody will think twice about it. They'll, it'll be just normal because we're ill. That's what they'll say when, in fact, they're blind. Moving forward, take a look at my new video that I created using AI. And it concerns this very subject. Imagine this. You're deeply rooted in your faith. It guides your every decision, your every belief. But what happens when something as cold and logical as artificial intelligence starts challenging these deeply held beliefs? Hi, I'm here today to discuss a truly intriguing scenario where AI inputs are being used to assess mental health. And surprisingly, it's intersecting with religious beliefs. Now I know this sounds like something out of a dystopian novel, but let's unravel this together. In some places, psychiatrists are beginning to use AI to help diagnose mental illnesses. This in itself isn't necessarily a bad thing. After all, AI can process vast amounts of data much faster than humans. But here's where it gets tricky. What if this AI starts interpreting intense religious experiences or visions as symptoms of mental illness? You might think, that's an overreach, right? Well, it's happening. Let's take a hypothetical yet plausible scenario. A Christian believes they've seen a vision of an angel. Traditionally, such experiences might be discussed within their community or with a spiritual leader. But in this new AI-assisted world, if they share this experience during a psychiatric evaluation, the AI, lacking understanding of religious context, flags it as a hallucination. This leads us to a critical question. How do we ensure that AI respects and understands religious contexts? It's a tough nut to crack, because AI, by its very nature, is not designed to understand human emotions or spiritual experiences. It's programmed to analyze data based on logical patterns. The intersection of technology and spirituality opens up a Pandora's box of ethical dilemmas. How do we program empathy into AI? How do we teach it about the nuances of human beliefs without crossing the line into making it a moral judge? It's essential for communities, especially religious ones, to engage in this conversation. Understanding and setting boundaries on what AI should and shouldn't do in terms of mental health assessments is crucial. We must advocate for systems that respect and understand the full spectrum of human experience, including the spiritual or religious ones. As we advance technologically, Let's not forget the values and beliefs that define us. 
Let's ensure that AI serves to enhance our understanding of the human mind, not to diminish or mislabel what we hold sacred. This isn't just about technology. It's about preserving the human essence in a rapidly evolving world. Let's tread thoughtfully. Thank you for joining me on this thought-provoking journey. Stay tuned for more discussions where technology meets humanity. Our King Jesus didn't bring us this far to abandon us now. You were called, you were chosen. You were knit together in your mother's wombs, fearfully and wonderfully made. We are called to serve. King Jesus bless you all.